Hey, it's Mariella. Welcome or welcome back to the Perk Health Naturals channel where we give you a natural alternative for treating your problematic skin so you can achieve a clear complexion in a natural and safe way. Okay, this video. This video is going to be about a bit of a touchy subject. Um, it's something that just happened to me uh, about two weeks ago now. I had a bit of an accident and it's a bit of a touchy subject. So I just wanted to come here and share this unfortunate accident with you. Um, mainly want to build awareness and just to show you my process and how I'm healing and what I'm doing to get rid of scar and so on and so forth. So what happened, what had happened was my dog bit me. <laughs> Okay, and I'm saying bit me because everyone's like, oh my gosh, your dog bit you. But it was just an unfortunate accident. I didn't, I don't think he actually bit me. I'm going to tell you what happened and how it happened. But if you can see on my face, I have a laceration. I have, and I have two holes. And I also had, um, suffered a small laceration to my cheek. And the reason why I'm gonna tell you, like, I don't think he bit me is because if he actually would have wanted to bite me, um, it would have been much, much worse, worse than what happened. Again, I'm sharing this experience with you because I want to raise awareness. You know, like I feel like dog bites, it's something that like, you know, can be so brutal. And, you know, I'm gonna even tell you about like how the relationship was like between me and my dog, like how's that going right now? Um, but I also just wanna uh, also show you like the healing process and specifically how I am getting re rid um, of the scarring, right? Because that's something that was my biggest concern when this happened. Okay, so let me um, take off my makeup. I'm actually wearing makeup right now just because I had to go out to a meeting. You know, I have been pretty much taking the last two weeks I've been resting and mainly just waiting for my face to heal because it, it looked pretty bad when it first happened. Um, so let me just take off my makeup while I tell you what happened. So this happened two weeks ago and I was coming back from living my best life in Jamaica. I was actually celebrating um, my birthday in Jamaica. Um, and then the night I came back, uh, it was a regular night. I just, you know, I came back home. I got ready for bed and I was going to go to bed, you know, with my dog. Like I usually do. He usually likes was sleep in the room with me. Um, and I saw that my dog was like scratching his, his leg a lot. Like it was, he was like ferociously like biting on his leg. So I, I have like some ointment and some stuff that I can put on him. So. I went to do that and when I went to touch him, I guess I like touched him in a spot that really hurt him. So he didn't like growl at me and like try to bite me. He usually does what he, what he does. Cause like for me, it is normal that when I try to clip his nails, he hates it. So he always like, every time I clip a nail, he tries to like grab the nail clipper or like tries to like, I would say like bite my hand or something. Um, but he screamed that I was on the floor. So literally I was on the floor, I was grabbing his leg. So this is his mouth and this is my forehead, okay? And I guess like, you know, when he, when I touched him where it hurt, he reacted and just like rammed his head onto, on, on his head onto my forehead because mind you, he was right here. So because he was so close because, and he reacted, I didn't have time to like react myself and like, you know, go back. So at first I just thought he like rammed his head onto my head. So I didn't think he bit me or anything. Cause I just like felt the force of like that his head hits my head. So I just thought like, oh my gosh, like you dumb dog. You <laughs> like, you hit my forehead. And I didn't realize he actually caused damage and caused a last, uh, uh, multiple lacerations till I looked in the mirror and I saw that like the blood was just like, you know, it, it was like, I didn't even know where the blood was coming from, but it was just like blood all over my face. It was like a scary movie scene. So naturally I started freaking out. Cause you know, like I, you know, I was bleeding so much and I was trying to stop the bleeding. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like, you know, like did my dog just bite me. Like, I can't believe it. So this is what it looks like. Um, so this laceration, it was pretty deep. And this is where I guess like his tooth went in there. So this was like a, just a hole. And then he slightly got me here as well. And this was like a gash, okay? These were gashes. So when I got to, I went to the ER and when I got to the ER, I was just like so concerned cause I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I'm, I'm gonna have to get stitches. This is gonna leave a crazy scar. For me, my main concern was the scar, right? Because 
yes, yeah, so you know what I do for a living. Like my face is very important for, um, you know, to what I do for a living. So I was just so concerned. And that was my main concern, the scar. And then the second thing on my mind is just like, I can't believe my dog bit me. Okay, so I just um, wiped off my makeup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my skincare routine while I'm at it. And this is also like part of how I am dealing um, with the scarring and making sure it doesn't scar too bad. So I'm just using, you already know, the Percal Naturals um, face wash. I ideally use this, you know, because I am very acne prune, but this also has tea tree and rosehip oil, which is the um, one of the, like the essential things that I am using right now to uh, make sure I don't have, I don't get a crazy scar. So let me go ahead and wash my face. Okay, that's what it looks like now that it's clean. So yeah, like this was a pretty deep gash and obviously like this is like where his tooth went. So I was pretty concerned because I thought like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna need stitches. I'm gonna have a terrible scar. Like, you know, at the time that it happened, I was so like, you know, I, I think I was like a little hysterical because obviously, you know, I'm bleeding from my face. I've never before had an injury on my face. Um, so I thought like I was gonna have to like, stitches so then whatever once the doctor saw me um she was like okay we can't stitch it up because you know the protocol for animal bites or animal injuries is because it's so you can easily get an infection that they cannot um they will not close it up or stitch it up unless it was like something really crazy that like demanded that they have to that it had to be stitched up so they were like we can't do anything like to close it you're gonna have they gave me a tetanus shot put me in like two weeks of antibiotics and then I was like, I have a gaping hole on my forehead, two gaping holes on my forehead. What do you mean you're not gonna stitch it up? What do you mean, no? They were like, you know, there's a couple of things that you can use for a scar. I'm like, my biggest concern was not hyperpigmentation. You know, like I 100% trust that this is gonna help me with, with my hyperpigmentation and like get rid of the dark scarring because this is what I've been using, you know, for years now for my acne scarring. And I know this works, right? My biggest concern was like the in indented scar, right? Cause I'm like, I have a gash, like it's an open gash. I have a hole, like this is not gonna fully um, close on its own. Like it's going to leave a dent. And the doctor was adamant that it's like, you should not have a crazy scar, but just in case you do have a scar, here's a referral to a plastic surgeon. Right. Right. So this is what I'm using mainly um, to prevent the scarring. Now that it's healed, right? Cause like um, up until a couple of days ago, it was still like, it was still like an open gash. Like it actually closed on its own, like pretty good, I guess. But um, this is what I'm using. This is a Perco Naturals Clear Skin Serum. Same thing, it has tea tree oil and it has rosehip oil, which is like the best essential oil for like skin regeneration. So this is what I'm still using. I mean, this is what I've been using, right? For my acne and acne scarring so i'm not changing anything i usually apply this to my face two times a day so now instead of two times a day i'm doing it three times a day or even more sometimes i just do like a spot treatment just to make sure that it doesn't scar i'm also still putting on some neosporin because i um, the swelling went down that's the thing like the first couple of days because my dog like his head hit me like so hard it caused a lot of swelling so my face was like swollen like pretty badly like my my forehead like got pretty swollen because of the impact and because of my forehead like my nose bridge was pretty swollen as well my eyes like i literally looked like i got punched in the face for a couple of days so it just now feels like it's really healed like in the inside like now like the gash is closed um, but I, I am going to give it like a couple more weeks just to see if like, I guess the indentation, I don't even know what to call it, um, goes away. Cause like I've had ice pick scars like on my cheeks, right? Like I've had pretty bad acne that then like leaves a hole, but it still does heal pretty fine. Like I don't have a problem with my ice pick scars on my cheeks, but I just want to see how this is going. Um, this is going to like 
fully heal before I actually decide to take drastic measures such as visiting a plastic surgeon. My mom's plastic surgeon. But for now, I'm just gonna be using, you know, the my regular skincare routine that I use on my face already uh, with the Percal Naturals uh, products because I already know this is gonna help me with my hyperpigmentation. Like this, the, if you guys have been following my journey, you know my acne was pretty, pretty, pretty terrible at some point and my scarring was pretty terrible. And these are the products that helped me. So I'm pretty confident they're also going to help me with the scarring if you are also struggling with problematic skin i would encourage you to check out the links on the description box there you can actually also grab a um, three-step guide that i made of how i cleared my acne and my skin naturally in 60 days so you can grab that on the description box is there it's free you can just grab it and learn how you can actually also um, treat and clear your acne naturally like I did. Okay, so you're probably wondering like, okay, so like, what are you gonna do about your dog? Like do your dog bit you? Like I said, like, I really do not feel like my dog bit me, okay? Like, I feel like it was a mistake. He didn't do it on purpose. He didn't growl at me. I do not believe my dog intentionally bit me. Here, let's meet my dog. <laughs> this is my dog. He's acting like he didn't do anything. Um, Cause that's the thing, dogs like they don't understand. Like, you know, he just had a reaction. Okay, so a little bit about my dog. My dog is 12 years old. I've had him since he was a puppy. He is a pit bull, okay? So I guess you can say that I survived a vicious pit bull attack, okay? I bite. <laughs> no, seriously, but like he's such a good boy. Like he is such a good boy and he's old, okay? Like I can't be mad at him forever. He's just a good precious dude in the world. <laughs> So yeah, like my dog and I have been together for 12 years. He's already going on 13 and my family started freaking out, okay? Like my mom, she was like, that vicious animal, I knew he was gonna do that to you eventually. They all turn on his, their owners and like he's gonna like bite your face off and all that. <laughs> so my mom was like, you need to get rid of that dog. You need to like put him down, drop him on the pound, da da da. But I'm not gonna be doing any of that because I know my dog and I know he didn't do it intentionally and I know that it was just a mistake and it could have been preventable if I would have taken safety measures, right? Because at the end of the day, dogs are animals and they're going to react like dogs, like animals, right? So I, every time I'm, um, every time I'm touching him, like you don't know if something's hurting, right? Like something could be hurting. That's how he's going to react. Um, I should know better that I should never be this close to him ever. Okay. Like I need to learn my lesson and I actually started implementing measures like, okay, I need to have boundaries with him because at the end of the day, he is a dog. So, so yeah, I forgave him. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that is all I had for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to share my story, share what happened. You know, I have not been in front of the camera for the last couple of weeks just because you know i have been healing so like you know we love our dogs but at the end of the day like we need to understand they're animals so we need to have boundaries with them you know like never put yourself in a position that if your dog reacts he can you know potentially like do some damage and, and at the end of the day like i would have even been mad if he would have bit me like on my hand or on my arm Shit, he could have bitten a freaking titty if he freaking wanted to titties what really hurt me the most is that he bit me on my face, right? And you know, like face is a very delicate um, place for us. And, and also, you know, it can easily scar. Like a lot of the other stories that I've seen where, you know, someone gets um, attacked by a dog or a dog bites someone even on, on um, you know, not intentionally. It like on the cheek area, it can actually have a lot of damage. And on the cheek area, it's probably one of those areas that like if you get an animal bite, they will have to stitch it up because the damage can be so easily done because you know, it's very soft skin. So I learned my lesson having boundaries with my dog. So I hope this brings some awareness to you. Let me know what you think. Like what will you do if your dog bit you? And you know, and you truly believe that it was by mistake because I do truly believe that he did not bite me intentionally and I do not believe my dog would ever bite me. 
but it's done the damage is done so for now i am going to continue to use the perco naturals um natural skincare products to try to minimize and treat the scarring um and i guess i will keep you guys updated one in a couple of weeks from now like um showing you how uh the scare the scarring actually turned out it is still healing um but i'm pretty i'm pretty confident it's actually not going to leave too bad of a scar that i would need to visit a plastic surgeon but we'll see i hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and check out the Percal naturals products the links will be on the description box and also be sure to grab the free three-step guide on how to clear your skin naturally within 60 days i really feel like that's going to be helpful for you if you are currently um, struggling with acne like i was and other than that i will see you on the next one bye Thank you.